These are the 10x50 binoculars. If you are planning to get these binoculars for astronomy, but still you are unsure about that, then this video is perfect for you. Because in this video I would like to introduce these binoculars to you. And I would like to talk about both advantages and disadvantages of using these binoculars for astronomy. And in the end I would like to show you a few objects that you can easily observe with these binoculars. All that right after the intro. This video is not sponsored and not being paid for it. All products shown in this video were purchased by myself, but now I'd like to start. Um, so as I already mentioned, these are the 10 by 50 binoculars. First of all, I would like to talk about the two numbers, so 10 and 50, um, and why they are very important for observing the night sky. The very first number is 10, as you can see, and 10 stands for the magnification. So these binoculars will have a 10 times magnification, which is actually great for observing the night sky. So as you probably know, when observing the night sky, you would like to get a wide field. And 10 times magnification is actually great, so I personally have a few other um, binoculars for observing the night sky. Some of them have 20 times of magnification, some 5, and this one uh, has 10 times of magnification. And I personally think that um, something between 10 and 20 is actually great for observing the night sky, because you will get a wide field of the night sky, which is amazing to find objects in the night sky, and, and on the other side you will get great details. You will see great details and great structures in those objects. So 10 times magnification is actually great for observing the night sky. But the other number, say 50, is a number that is more important for observing night sky. So as you know, those objects in night sky are very, very dark. And therefore it's very important that a lot of light comes into those glasses. And therefore it's very important that the diameter of, of these glasses is big. So in this case we have um, 50 um, millimeters, so the diameter is 50 millimeters, and that's actually great. Um, so it's very important that you have a big diameter of glasses, and in this case 50 millimeters is great for um, revealing structures in those objects. So I have other binoculars uh, with a diameter of 80 millimeters for sure. With that you will get a better view of the night sky, but they are very heavy and that's not that great, so you, you need a tripod, but I would like to talk about that later on. So in general I'm very happy with these binoculars. So I've been using these binoculars for the past um, three, four, uh, six years, and um, they are amazing. So I personally used those binoculars to observe the uh, Milky region during summer, which is amazing. And on the other side, I used them to observe um, the winter constellations, such as Orion. And these uh, binoculars are amazing. So you can see a lot of objects with these binoculars. Now I would like to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of these binoculars. So the very first disadvantage is um, the diameter of these glasses. Um, so we have 50 millimeters of diameter. So as I mentioned in the beginning, um, 50 is actually great, so 50 millimeters of diameter, but um, there are other binoculars that are better, such as this one for example. So this is a 20 by 80 um, binocular, and uh, so as you can see, as you can hear, uh, we have 80 millimeters of diameter which is for sure better for astronomy because more light comes in, which means that you it's easier for you to see those objects in the night sky. And we have a bit more of magnification, which means that the objects will be a bit brighter. But you have to keep in mind that the binocular I, I mentioned right now, so the big one, is very, very heavy, which is definitely a disadvantage. disadvantage. So when using the big one, so 20 by 80, you definitely need a tripod, which is not that great because you have to set up your tripod and then you can attach your binoculars. And, but when using these binoculars, you can directly use them because they are not that heavy and you can hold them just like that and observe the night sky. For the other one, you need a tripod, so that's definitely a big uh, advantage of these binoculars. And in general, they are not that expensive and um, you can get a great view of the night sky, so you can observe a lot of objects. So in general, I'm very happy with these uh, binoculars and I would definitely recommend them. So if you're planning to observe the night sky and your binoculars should be portable, which means that it's, they are easy to use, then I definitely recommend these ones because they are not that heavy, but still you will get a lot of light gathering power, so 50 millimeters of diameter, then these binoculars are definitely great for you. I definitely recommend them. But if you would like to see a bit more objects and in general you would like to invest a bit more money to see more objects, I'd rather go for the 20 by 80 but they are very heavy which means that you will need a tripod which is not that great so uh, that's definitely your decision and I personally like to use these ones and the other ones so these are very easy to use and with the others I will get more light gathering power which is amazing too. So that's definitely your decision, I like both but I definitely recommend these binoculars for astronomy. 
Now I would like to talk about a few objects that you can observe with these binoculars because these binoculars are definitely amazing for observing night sky and these are all objects I observed with these binoculars in the past. So these are definitely objects that you will see with these binoculars in night sky. Number one is the Orion Nebula. So that's a very easy target, it's very easy to find, it's very bright and you will get an amazing view. So I observed um, the Orion Nebula multiple times with these binoculars and you will definitely see the nebula but that really depends on the conditions so definitely try to escape the city light pollution and try to observe the, this object when there is a new moon or when the moon is under the horizon but that's definitely a great object to observe during winter. Another object that is very amazing during winter is the Pleiades star cluster so this is a very big star cluster in night sky so it will fill your entire field of view when observing um, this star cluster with these binoculars, so that's definitely a great view so observing those objects. Furthermore, you can observe a few star clusters, but they might be a bit difficult for those binoculars. Another object that is very amazing during summer, for example, is in general the entire Milky Way region. So there are a lot of stars, a lot of nebulae. That's definitely a great um, region to observe during summer. An object that is very interesting in the Milky Way region is the North American Nebula. So it's a very big object, so probably it's a bit too big for these binoculars, but you will still get an amazing view of that object, so definitely try to observe this object during summer. So, another object that's interesting is the Andromeda Galaxy and the Andromeda Constellation. So, it's a very big object and you can even see the spiral arms when looking through these binoculars. So, definitely plan to observe these four objects with your binoculars. If you have any more questions on these binoculars, definitely feel free to ask me down below in the comments and I will definitely help you. If you found that guide helpful and this video was interesting to you, I would definitely appreciate a like and a subscription. Otherwise, thank you so so much for watching and until next time, clear skies, Felix.